Hey, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be creating a ChatGPT clone inside Bubble. So we're going to be using OpenAI's APIs and we're going to be using Bubble to build our application. And we're actually going to create a really simple kind of question answer bot that can answer your questions using the OpenAI completions. So let's get straight into it. You need to sign up to the OpenAI platform. You can go to platform.openai.com and just you know use your Google account or whatnot, sign up to that, and it'll take you to here. Now we'll need to open up the API reference, which is up here. Got it open here. And we'll need to open up our API keys. And then you'll also need to jump on to Bubble and sign up to Bubble. Uh, that's bubble.io and you can create an account. It's really, really simple. There are some details down in the description below and then you can create an app. All right, so now that you've created your Bubble application and you've got a blank canvas just like this and you've got these pages up, we can then start building our AI chat answer bot. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to come over here and search for group, grab a group and we're just gonna put it on the page. So I'm just gonna put that in the center there. I've got the uh, page itself under layer set to align to parent. And then we've got this one here. Let's make the width, let's say 800 by 400. Just so we get a nice square box. We can remove the styling, add some roundness, add a shadow, just a little bit of styling there. I'm gonna have that white. I'm gonna have the background color here to gray. Um, flat color to white, there we go. So now we have a box on the page. Now, when you think about uh, a question answer bot, you need to have an input, right? So what we need to do is we need to grab an input line here, put that one there, and we're gonna say, um, ask me a question. And we're also gonna need a button to make it work. So we can search for button, grab a button and put that below, great. So I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab this group here. I'm gonna call this group questions. And we can come down here, change the layout to column because we want things to sit underneath each other. And then we can center things and we're gonna center this one and center this one. There we go, cool. Now we want all of this to have a width of 400 just so it lines up nicely and a margin of 30. Cool, great. Let's change the text of that button just to add a little bit of character. Okay, cool. Now we have the group with the input field and the button. Now we need a space for our answer to appear. What we're gonna do is we're going to click on this group and we're gonna go duplicate by clicking Control D or Command D on the keyboard. And it's gonna create a copy here under your elements tree. We can change that from group questions. Let's change that to group answers. And when you've got the answer, you don't want an input box, right? Instead, we want a text box that has the output of the response from OpenAI. So we're gonna change that here to parent groups thing. And we're gonna change this with the answers to text. So now that, that's parent groups text. Again, we can come down here and change that to 400 width and center that up. And on that answers page, we're gonna need the button to go back to ask another question. Cool. Now, obviously nothing's happening right now. We've just got these random two groups on the page. This is where the magic begins. We come under plugins here and we can add a new plugin and what we're gonna need is the API connector. And this is a Bubble specific plugin. It's actually the most used plugin on Bubble and for good reason. Uh, once you install it, you can go add another API and we can call this whatever we want, um, but we're gonna call this one here. Um, chat GPT clone and we can go import another call from curl 
And this makes it really simple, right? You just come over here to the API reference and under chat down here, we've got here a curl example. Click the copy button, come over here and paste that. Import. Now there's a few little things that we need to change here. It's got here the authentication. Um, this here is where we put our API key. So over here we have our API key. I'm gonna create a new key and I will be deleting this before this video is uploaded. Copy that and then come back to here and paste it in right there. Perfect. So now we've kept bearer and then we've pasted our API key. And we've got here a little bit of JSON. So we've got here what's being sent to OpenAI. So on the system, we have here, you are a helpful assistant. If you wanted to make this a more of a specific kind of thing, like for example, you're a master SEO or uh, you are a helpful geography teacher, for example, you could you could change that system prompt there. And then we've got down here is the actual content, what the user is asking of uh, OpenAI. So for example, hello. And then you can initialize the call and the response that you get, here we go, are all these individual things. And if you come to show the raw data, you can actually see what OpenAI has responded. Hello, how can I assist you today? And that is under content here. So that's all working. So what we need to do now is actually change that hello to a variable. And we can do that, as you can see up here, by going bracket, bracket, and putting in between those brackets some type of text. So let's call this user prompt, for example. And then we have a value here, something like, uh, what country are you, are you in? And then we have to untick private and we can click private on these two because they're saying the same. And let's try and reinitiate that call and see if that works. Cool, it worked. And if we come down here, there's its answer, perfect. And it's got like, you know, the number of tokens it's used and, and you can store all this data within your database and bubble if you wanted to, but we're not gonna do that in this tutorial. Uh, click save and the last thing that we need to do is we need to change this from use as data to use as action. I'm gonna change this to chat as a name and I'm gonna just delete this other one here. Perfect, there you go. So now what we can do is we can come over to our design tab. Under question, under our button, we can add a workflow. And then under that workflow, we can search for that chat, there we go. And we've got here the user prompt. Now we don't wanna actually come up with that value. We want it to be dynamic, right? And we want it to come up with the multi-line input, ask questions, value. And that's gonna input that into there. Then what we need to do is we need to display data in a group and inside that answers group, we need to display the result of step ones choices, first items, content. There we go, bit of a mouthful, but we got there eventually. And that's gonna display the answer that we get back from OpenAI that we've asked in the first one. Cool, now what we need to do is we need to hide an element and hide that questions. And then we need to display or show the answer. Last thing that I forgot to do is if we come back over here, we want our answers group to not be displayed on page load. Perfect, great. That should be just about it. Let's preview our app and see if that's all working. Okay, cool. So let's ask a question. What is your fave color? Oh, there we go. There's its answer. And then if we click the ask another question, ah, it's not working. Okay. So if we come back over here, we go under our answers and hide our questions. We've got here, ask another question. We need to come back here, add a workflow. And it's pretty simple. We just hide an element. We hide the answers and we show an element and we show the questions. We're gonna refresh the page and ask another question. 
And there we go. And if we click this button, ask another question, it will take us back to this other group or this other page and we can ask another question. So there you have it. That is a simple question answer bot using OpenAI's API within Bubble. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it super informative and I will see you in the next one.